what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is a t you can call me tia or sunny whichever one you like and i am hopping straight into my maintenance routine i usually have a long lengthy intro but i'm not going to give that to you guys today i get so excited when i get my nails done because i only get them done once a month because <laughs> my nail techs are bomb and i get gel so it lasts for a super long time first and i got a french tip i didn't show you guys how it looked at the end but it did not look how it looked when she first put it on she cleaned it up with um some acetone but if you guys are in the dmv definitely come here and get the double shot pedicure with uh gel polish it has um an exfoliation you get a hot stone massage a mask and a paraffin treatment and it sends you into pure bliss like i'm telling you it feels so good so now i'm on my way to get dang why not like hat all the way on my forehead like that like sheesh all right, so now I'm on my way to get um, my nails done. I really want to get like a cow print design because it's really cute and you know, I just want to do something different. It's my birthday. The nail salon is just very peaceful to me too because um, they have like the nice music going. They got the ambiance. It's just, everything is just ooh, ooh, ooh. And they're clean. That is like so key because some nail salons, they just, they just dirty. They use their, first of all, I don't like you to use your dag on hands. Why would you ever use your hands to clean up? Like he was digging in my toenails with his fingernails. That was just, oh my God. Now it's time to get these nails together. I really love the way my nail tech shapes my nails and the way she like applies the acrylic because it lasts super long and that's why I'm able to only get them done every three weeks to four weeks. Four weeks, I'll be pushing it, but three weeks, I'm probably getting them done every three weeks. Today, I'm just getting my nails filled in, shaped up and cut down um, just a tad not too much because i have short nails and i don't want to have like little stubs little nubs so she pretty much freestyled the design with a dotter i think that's what it's called um the tool that she's using um and she did really really good Really, really good. Oh, it's raining outside. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. But yeah, my nails look really, really good. I like how they look. Let me see y'all the other side. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I have already cleaned my skin. Um, so I already got. What am I saying right now? What I'm about to do now, I already got my wax earlier today by my girl Jamie. And you know, I'm a little Brazilian, but I can't take you guys in the room with me because it's against um, European Wax Center's policy. So I'm about to show you guys how I do my at home underarm waxing. I've been using this little natural deodorant and I'm about to stop using it because it's making my arm dark like the underarms. But y'all see, y'all see that right there. Ooh -wee. This is the um, wax that I use. I like this one because it's easy and I've used this before I even became an esthetician. It looks like this. My skin's already clean and everything, but it looks like this. And I'm gonna cut it in half because I don't need that much. So I usually like to use this side. So this is a tab I'm going to, how I'm gonna pull the wax. Sometimes I'll be second guessing myself when I'm at home doing it. I just be like, uh, how did I do it? How do I do it? But yeah, so it's going this way. I'm gonna just pack it down. Oh, y'all see all that hair right here? Ugh. Underarm waxing at home is the easiest thing to do. Brazilian, do not do it to yourself. You will set yourself up, all right? All right, and then just pull. Look at all that hair, bruh. But yeah, and just repeat the same process, so now, I'm about to do it the opposite way. Get it up in there, okay? And then pull it. 
All right, so this one is just some marula oil from Drunk Elephant. And then I'm just gonna pretty much wipe it to get any of that residual oil off. I mean, any like wax off. Nice and clean now. Yeah, a little bit of witch hazel and I'm just gonna tap it there. And this is just gonna close my pores, calm my skin down and stuff like that. Okay, so now it's time for hair, 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 hair. So this has been, it's about to be a month and I wanna say like three days, like on my birthday, it will be a month that I've had this hair in. And as you guys can see, like it's holding up pretty well. My, now I be seeing some people's hair and the reason why I'm like going into detail about my hair is because a lot of people have commented on my past videos, like my box braid videos. And they were just like, how do you keep your braids so fresh? Girl, it'd be real easy. The person that did my braids, her name is Camille Crowns. I'll probably put her Instagram in the description box. She did really good. Let me show you guys the front. Now, the front is fading a little bit. Like, it's definitely fading. So after I take these out, I'm gonna touch it up. My, um, my red hair. I'm trying to show you guys like my braids and stuff. Like, it's no no frizz or anything you can still see my scalp like so i'm just gonna show you guys what i do to maintain my braids in this video and how i'm just touching them up i'm gonna take a little bit of water in my spray bottle and then i'm gonna use this this also is a shampoo that i use normally on my red hair because it helps pretty much keep that color there. So I'm just gonna spray this on my edges. And then I'm only gonna take a little tiny bit. And I don't do this part every um every week, but the other parts I'm gonna show you guys, I do do every week because I need the frizz and all that to be maintained. And start working this in, but not doing too much because I don't wanna disturb like my hair and stuff. I don't really shampoo my hair when I have braids in because it will mess your braids up. And no, my braids do not be stinking. Next up, the most important part, okay? Get you a mousse. I normally like to use the Lotta Body Foaming and Wrap Mousse or something like that. That's the one that I normally use, but I got this one and this one is really good too. This is one, blah. This one is from Aunt Jackie's. I really like this one. If you want your like braids to be frizzless and tamed and looking like clean for a long periodically time, then you need some mousse. But yeah, I just scrunch it all the way down to the end. This is probably the main reason why my braids be lasting a long time and look fresh. And then I'm gonna take some oil. This one is from The Main Choice. And squeeze some of that into my hand. I use a lot of oil, because I want my braids to look shiny. Then I'm just gonna leave it on there. You can sit under the dryer if you really need to. But honestly, that is all I do. And I might do that at least three times a week. And then I just put a bonnet on and go to sleep. I put a bonnet on every night. Like I do not skip a night. Because for one, these braids are super long. Two, I need to sleep. And I need to sleep good. So the bonnet just keeps it up and out of the way and then it just keeps it fresh. Yep, that's all I do for my hair. And it keeps it pretty fresh, really fresh. Now what I'm gonna do is at home, little facial situation. I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. And this is just gonna be my cleanser. Next, I'm just taking a nice mask. I love using this mask because it's a good chemical exfoliant. So this has AHA and BHA in it. This is from Drunk Elephant, it's their baby facial. I don't use it all the time. I literally only use it once a week because it is a chemical exfoliant. Like this joint be tingling, okay? 
if we don't really gotta do it. So I'm about to put my timer on cause literally I'm only gonna leave it on for 15. Use a little bit of my toner. Put a little bit on my hands. And just pat that in. I'm gonna go in with another mask. And that one's gonna be more calming and hydrating. That is this baby right here. And it is literally about to be gone. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Infusion Rose Mask. Oh, I'm so sad. I need to get some more. And you wanna use a lot of this. A nice thick layer and while that is marinating on my skin I'm gonna use this baby this is the bliss I got this deep puff brightening eye mask and I'm gonna leave that on for about the same amount of time as I leave my mask on So as you guys can see, most of the product is pretty much gone now. So I just dabbed whatever was left over off and it pretty much sunk into my skin. And that's why I love that mask. So um, right now I'm just using my first serum from Drunk Elephant all over my face to give me more hydration. I love hydration because I am so dry, so, so dry. Right now I have eczema on both of my eyelids. It's not too bad, but I don't want it to get worse. So I'm just taking extra precaution and going in with the hydration. So, and oh, you guys, I do not do this full skincare routine all the time because for one, that chemical mask that I use in the beginning, I can only use that once a week. I probably only do this on special occasions and my birthday is definitely a special occasion. All right, like period. And on top of that, I sealed everything in with my night cream from Caudalie and I'll be sure to leave everything in the description box below for you guys. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna pick up any of these products. And then the last thing I do is I get these nice lips together. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see next. Also, follow me on Instagram if you're not doing so right now because, you know, I be coming through with little looks or whatever, you know? And you guys will just see more of my life on Instagram as well. This is like my realistic, okay? Because I be seeing a lot of these dad on maintenance videos that are so unrealistic. I'm just like, how often do you do that? Like, what? Um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>